Let's see what my next review is, AJ. Patty in Park City, Utah texts, Doctors tell me I have to be careful because of all the addicts in the human cesspool that is my family, but I'm not so sure. Forrest, what's it like to be an addict? Well, the only thing I've ever been addicted to is a thirst for knowledge. I guess that doesn't count, though. I don't think so. All right, then. I'm about to go and get myself addicted to something stronger and more powerful than knowledge. Aha! Uh -huh. Those are nicely made lines. Well, I have never done cocaine before, and I have no idea how easy or hard it is to get addicted to it. I confess I am quite nervous about this, but thank you. Mm -hmm. Bon voyage. Happy sailing. No. Oh, that's like bleach in my sinuses. That's terrible. No, that's a terrible feeling. Goodbye, cocaine. No, 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 miss. Uh, what? No. You would have liked to have done that, cocaine? No. No, of course not. That's absolute garbage. It's terrible. I feel like going for a walk. You want to go for a walk? Yeah, I'm just going to take your trash. Okay, that's fine. Some people simply can't get addicted. Their brains are too sturdy. Could this be my problem? I tested that hypothesis with two other famously addictive substances: cigarettes filled with tobacco. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. And alcoholic wine. But I could not get those monkeys on my back. All this does is make me sleepy. I think I'll uh, go to the bathroom. So you can add alcohol to the list of shit I'm not addicted to? I mean, maybe I'm just invulnerable to addiction. <laughs> what am I, a superhero? It's Mr. Invulnerable! <laughs> Okay, so I have tried cocaine, cigarettes, alcohol, didn't get addicted to any of those, but there's one more thing I need to try. Cocaine! <laughs> Just like my wife Suzanne, who for years had enjoyed taking pot from time to time, my occasional recreational use of cocaine had improved my life. I was more productive. I got a lot of red books and I got a lot of these are all I made more scarves. I'm a new one. I don't know if you wear it or not. I don't even care. I was a better father. The little goes up to Henny Penny. First person, Henny Penny, the sky is falling. And of course, Henny Penny believes like, What do you mean the sky is falling? The sky is falling! Forest? Did you make 14 ATM withdrawal? Whoa, Sorry. what just happened? Nothing, it broke, it's, it's I... broke, it's fine, it's fine. No, what, what? Okay, uh, well, somebody made 14 ATM withdrawals this week. Do Why you... would you assume that it would be me? Maybe, did you ever consider maybe, what's his name is doing it? Could be what's his name. Who's what's his name? Yeah, you know, up, upstairs, the kid. <clears throat> All right, Hotshot, do you know his name? Eric? All right, fine, yes, you win, that one. What is wrong with you? That's, nothing is wrong, I'm fine, I'm just trying to, have, to eat something. <laughs> Tell me what I did wrong. I'm pretty sure these gray ones go in here. I volunteered to chaperone Eric and his friends on a camping trip and made an important discovery about my relationship to cocaine. Wait a minute. Hey, Eric, have you seen uh, that bag that I had, that little uh, plastic bag of uh, camping powder? No. Being separated from cocaine for six hours made me realize I had a problem and I needed help in the form of more cocaine. Hey, Mr. Mignot. Do you have it? Yeah. Thank you. God. Oh, man, we're going to do everything this weekend. We're going to get our bird watching badges. Who wants their bird watch? If anybody wants their bird watching badge, we're going to do it. We're going to we're going to find some birds, and we're going to watch them. And then we're going to get our orienteering badges. You guys. Your nose is bleeding. Oh, that's because I'm having a heart attack, you guys. Dad? Oh, I'm having a heart attack. Do you have shooting oh. pain down your arm? Yeah, I got shooting pains everywhere. Oh, my God, I'm having a heart attack. I'm definitely going to die. I am definitely gonna die! Oh God! Oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Shut up! Well, shut up! How do you know CPR? Why do you know CPR? On, this kid's a cop. You. Get Dad, this kid is a cop. We don't know how he'll react, but remember, he literally could be saving his life. So it's important everyone's hearing. Oh, okay. oh, what is this? Oh, is this an intervention? Always a fast learner, I was proud to see I had gone from fumbled snorting to overdose to family intervention in record time. No, 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 no. put your letters away. I can save you some time. I don't know, I've been a monster, right? Everybody's gonna say, all right. All right, I've been a real terrible dad. I let you down. I've been a horrible son-in-law. I've been a real disappointment as a dog owner. I've been such a bad dad. I don't even know what I did to these guys. Who cares? Let's go to rehab. 
I can't wait to go to rehab. Come on, Tom, hurry up. I don't need anything. Let's just go, let's just go. I, I guess I should go too, okay. okay. Well, I'm going to read my speech. I worked hard on it. In the words of Grandmaster Flash, you going high on that cocaine, you going crazy like a cocaine train. When I get back from rehab, I'll probably say cocaine is terrible. But don't believe me, <laughs> cocaine is amazing. I give it a million stars. <laughs> Do not believe the guy in the studio who tries to tell you it's terrible. That guy <laughs> is a liar. <laughs> No, I am not a liar. He is. I am a recovering addict who went to rehab and got clean. He is a drug-addled maniac who nearly destroyed his family and his financial security and his heart and his brain. Addiction, half a star. Whew. 